Hey beautiful soul, I have the most adorable summer tea pattern to show you today and it's full of all kinds of beautiful little details that I know you're gonna love. This is Pregiato by Debbie Mage. This top is simply gorgeous and so wearable. And it may seem simple at first, but it is packed with all kinds of adorable details. And this reminds us that even the smallest moments in our lives can have a significant impact. Just like these beautiful little stitches transform this basic top into something extraordinary. This design features a soothing stockinette stitch body, which flows and fits so nicely. And the striking feature of this pattern are these beautiful little smock stitches that you find throughout. Instead of opting for a traditional ribbing, Debbie has just jazzed it up with these beautiful smock stitches. You're gonna find these adorable smock stitches on the neck, on the hem, down the sides, on the sleeve cuffs, and running down the tops of the sleeves. And they're so simple to create. To work our smock stitch, we're gonna have our yarn in the back, and we're gonna go ahead and slip the next three stitches purlwise, which just means your needles are tip to tip. So slip one, two, three. Then you're gonna move your yarn to the front, and you're gonna slip those same three stitches back onto your left-hand needle. So yarn is in the front. One, two, three. Then we're gonna wrap our yarn around and move it to the back. And we're gonna slip those same three stitches back onto our right needle. So we are basically wrapping those three stitches, but we're not knitting them. And that's how we get that really beautiful little smock stitch. And that's how easy it is to create this beautiful texture. I really adore the short sleeves on this pattern and the comfortable, casual length of the body. I think this would be perfect for spring or summer or for layering when the temperatures cool off a bit. And I will say Debbie's patterns are always so thorough and so thoughtful with each little detail taken into consideration. Not only does she include all this beautiful detailing, but the construction is lovely too. The neck drops lower in the front for a comfortable fit, and the whole top is meant to have a relaxed, casual feel to it, almost like a tee that you would reach for and wear again and again. When making yours, I recommend that you choose a size that gives you a little bit of wiggle room so that it flows comfortably over your body. Another fun thing about this design is that you hold the yarn double throughout. So I recommend winding a center pull ball of yarn so that you can pull one strand from the center and one from the outside and just hold them together. That way you're going to use up all of the yarn rather than trying to wind two separate balls. Definitely check out our video on how to wind a center pull ball of yarn with or without equipment. It is a wonderful skill to know. Another option is to wind two separate balls and just pull one strand from each and hold your yarn together. You'll also need to know how to work a cable cast on to make this pattern. This is a beautiful cast on with a clean, firm edge that almost has a braided appearance. You'll find it in quite a few sweater patterns, so it is a wonderful cast on to know. To start our cable cast on, we'll begin with a slip knot. Go ahead and place it onto your needle and go ahead and cast on another stitch just using the long tail cast on method. Then go ahead and grab your other needle and to begin our cable cast on, we're gonna start by inserting this needle between those two stitches. Go ahead and grab the yarn, pull it through. Then line your needles up like this and go ahead and slide that new stitch onto your left needle. And that's it, you're just gonna continue repeating that. So insert your right needle between those two stitches. Pull it through and then slide it onto the left needle and continue repeating for however many times the pattern says. And it is as easy as that. And to make this pattern, we used our divinely luscious plant-based ephemeral fingering yarn. I'm a bit obsessed with this warm dusty rose color that we chose for the sweater. It's called Sophia. We also have some other beautiful ones like this gorgeous golden color called Olivia. We have this beautiful pale cool pink, which I named Angelica. We've got Emily, which is a nice beautiful pale icy blue. Layla is more of a soft minty green color. And then this beautiful Isabella, which is a pale butter yellow. 
We have so many gorgeous ones and I named them all unique names and some of them are even named after my nieces. This amazing yarn has supremely soft Peruvian cotton as the base and then a gorgeous strand of lyocell wrapped around for structure and shine. It feels like pure luxury on your skin. It's hypoallergenic, great for people even with sensitive skin and it's highly breathable. Today I would love to give away five skeins of this beautiful Sophia colorway. So to enter, just make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and comment below letting me know some of your favorite names and what color they would be if they were turned into a yarn. Hop on over to expressionfiberarts.com to download this pattern and get the yarn. And while you're there, check out all of our other lovely knit sweater designs. And don't forget to sign up for email and text updates for weekly free knit and crochet patterns. Thank you, my friend. I hope you enjoy this pattern. And when you wear this top, let it be a symbol of your unique journey. Embrace all of the intricate details of your life, celebrate your accomplishments, and remember that you are creating something beautiful every single day. Thank you so much. I wish you a wonderful week, and I will see you next week with another new design. Bye.